Hi everyone, it's Raja. And hello, it's me, Aquaria. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion, Fashion Photo, Photo Review. Review. <laughs> Aquaria, what is the theme tonight? The theme tonight is best drag. You have been waiting, what, 12 episodes to mm -hmm. finally wear your best shit. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Yes, uh, live your truth, in other words. Unless your truth sucks, and then live someone else's. <laughs> and you can get the track that the girls perform to, all available on iTunes. Yes. Cuck it account. Hey guys, enter for a chance to win a VIP trip to Pride in NYC with Absolute, Planet Earth's favorite vodka. You and a guest will get flights, hotels, and exclusive VIP access to Absolute's hottest parties. Enter now at absolutepride.com and entries close on June 14th. And to celebrate, Absolute's rainbow bottle is now available all year long at your local retailer because guess what? Pride is every day. Oh, I love these drinks. Ladies and gentlemen, Brooklyn Heights. Brooklyn Heights giving you the Snow Queen. Well, yeah. this is really kind of what she's known for, at least for me anyway, mm -hmm. knowing Brooklyn Heights. The first time I ever witnessed her doing anything was at the Miss Continental Continent. Pageant. This, this and, year she and, won? Or yep, and Brooklyn is an actual ballet dancer. So this really, really says a lot about her. It is her identity. It is definitely a, her craft. Like this to me is like, yes, God, Brooklyn Heights. Yeah, it's it's very pretty. I don't think it's honestly the most beautiful tutu and, and ballerina outfit that I've ever seen. Mm. Um, you know, just to be totally honest. Bitchy. But I'm sure it's beautiful and I'm sure she walks down the entire runway on point, gives you some like, you know, pirouettes. some jetés, some pirouettes, yes. some sweaties and all the business. She looks beautiful. I give it a two. Mm -hmm. Next we have Silky Nutmeg Gunache. Oh. This is a running theme. It's about four wigs together and... Uh, it's pretty. Uh, I, it's fine. I think she looks beautiful. I like the beige with... Um, the nude I, illusion. Yeah. I think it's kind of cute and it's definitely, I think, the, the prettiest thing I've seen from Silky. I think it's... No. Yeah. Are you sure? Probably. I think that's that cover-up one. That was better than this. I'm bored. Silky, I've heard it all. I've heard her. Well, I'm sure she'll tell you more. She'll tell me more, I'm <laughs> sure, but. I do think this is, you know, very beautiful for her, so I'm gonna give it a two. She looks beautiful, but it's nothing exciting for me. So I think it's a boot. Raven, it's the final episode. You gotta be nice to them, but you're also Raven, so what would you and say? And what does a Raven say? Mm. Toot. Oh. Got it. What would Raven say? Next we have Vanessa Vanji Mateo. And I think that is a beautiful shade of emerald for her. And her mm. makeup looks beautiful and those earrings look gorgeous. And the dress is a mess. She's definitely worn much more beautiful things and better drag uh, this season, period. Mm -hmm. And it's not like this is, you know, a backup dress or something. Like, this is very clearly, like, what she was saving for the end. But it says nothing about Vanessa. It says nothing about drag in general. Um, I, I think compared to Silky, Silky tells you more about Silky than this. This is just a, a boring brocade pattern I just, whatever. I just think that, you know what, um, you know, if you're going to be the Latin X girl, um, there's already been a Valentina who did this way, way, way better. I love Angie very much, but this is not your best drag. No. I think a bodysuit and a cover up is better than this. The color's pretty, emerald's nice. I'm going to give Vanjie a boot. It's a boot for me I'm too. Trouble. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Next we have Evie Oddly. Girl, she give Miss Triple T three eyes. The three prong fingers, alien versus elegance is awesome. So awesome. Mm -hmm. I know whenever I do looks that people really enjoy, they're like, something is weird about my face or right. I'm wearing a prosthetic or, it, you know, my teeth are crazy. And I, I think people love and are really gravitated towards sure. like, strange oddities. Uh, oddities, like oddities of like the human bodies. And that's like very much what this is giving me, like the crab hands, many extra breasticles. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's it's very cool. I could have done bigger hair, but it's definitely tootsie boots. It's a toots. Toot, not with the boots. I definitely see her point of view. This is very much odd. It's a great finishing piece to her crazy fashion journey. For sure. Next we have Acaria Davenport. Jesus Christ, I'm bored with 
with this. Did I say I was bored a few weeks ago? I'm bored! She's bored. Her gold look is beyond oh, yeah. more better drag than I would have had her wear the, the 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 teal for the gold challenge. Switch it out. Something. Piss the judges off. This is to me like Mickey's on a Monday on like an off month, like sometime in January. It's that basic stretch dress that everyone has that has a sequin and the nude illusion beneath it. And I'm shocked. I'm shocked that season 11, this is all that we have to offer as the best drag. But she does look beautiful, so what do I say? I like blue on her and I like blonde, but it's... And I don't like the really thick choker thing with the pendant. And, I, I and the makeup's a, a lot harsh, actually, for, for what she could be giving. I don't know. Mm. Compared to like the, the gold, the orange, I'm not really feeling this mm -hmm. as well. And I thought it's the, it's the you know, final episode, so I, right. I, it's, it sucks to feel negative about it. Um, because obviously these girls worked hard to get to where they are, but this is not doing it for you and it's not doing it for me as well. Mm. I just want to see more imagination. And Akira is just, you know, it's a boot. I mean, just some stupid feather thing on the head. Do something. Yeah! You're see like what I mean? one feather, macaroni. Something. Trying to alert. Let, Let gowns. gowns. Oh. It's a gown, but it's like, oh. And you know what? We saw a couple of let gowns last episode too, so this is, we're like gong. It's like just a gowns like sewn with threads of disappointment. On the bright side, they have the opportunity to turn it out boots at the finale, and I'm very excited to see that, honestly. Same, same, same. Our, Our top, top two, two of the week is Evie, Evie Oddly. 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 For someone who does the, the, the weird, Please. suspiciously almost crunch drag, mm -hmm. I like, I'm living. Yeah. And I, would... I like the way it's all come together at the end. Oddly. Tune in next Thursday to VH1 and watch the reunion episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11. And check the link below to see if Season 11 is airing on WoW Presents Plus in your territory. And in two weeks, we'll have a winner! Triple T.